Septimus, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of my new axis pedals, which I just received from, from the factory, from the axis percussion. You can see them right here, this, this new pair. Uh, now, these are still axis A long boards, which I've been using since day one of my experience with axis pedals. Of course, I've been trying some other models in the meantime, like the uh, A21 lasers and the, uh, the Derek Roddy signatures, as well as the X long boards, which I've been liking quite a lot. And I've been liking all of them for different situations, but these are kind of still my favorites for now. So I ordered an, a new pair of A long boards. But these have some custom features on them for myself, as well as some, some upgrades and updates from my old A long boards. So first of all, because they are the A longboard model, they come with the heavy duty spring on them. And speaking of the spring, I ordered them with a new microtune spring tension system, which uh, Axis has uh, come up with as an ingenious and very elegant way to get around the problem that uh, many of you probably know about, uh, which is the um, old style um, spring assembly, which is similar to pretty much any other pedal on the market. You can see it right here. This is one of my old pedals. And uh, like any other pedal, you know, you have to reach under the pedal right here and, you know, get everything loosened up and then set your, your spring and then tighten everything back up. Uh, it might not be the easiest or the, the most comfortable thing to do on the fly, especially, you know, right before the show if you want to change something. It's not too quick, okay? And not too comfortable either for your, for your fingers. So Axis came up with this wonderful system, which as you can see, looks really high-tech and weird. But the uh, main advantage with this is that you don't have to touch any part of this spring assembly. You don't have to do anything. You just leave it the way it comes from the factory. And then you take your fender drum key. And you, the only setting you have here is at the top of the pedal, which is really elegant. You just put your regular drum key there and set it from there. So that's your spring tension adjustment. Uh, some other advantages of this is that it's also a bit smoother. Uh, you've got smaller increments on this than you had before on the, on the old style system here on the bottom. And uh, what I noticed is um, it allows for a lot more tension too on the, on the springs. Now, as I said, these come with the heavy duty springs which are basically the heaviest springs I have ever played on a pedal. But still, with this new system, you can you can put even more tension on on them if you if that's what you like. You know, I personally don't use that much tension on the spring on the springs, uh, and since people have been asking me about my pedal settings, I will talk a little bit about that. So, uh, this is my um, my spring tension adjustment right here. Okay, so from here to here, this is how tight it is, and from here to here, it's how tight it can get. All right, so. Um, it's not even halfway uh, up. So I would call this a medium tension because of the new system which, like I said, allows for even more tension. Um, now, I used to play with the, on the, on the old pedals, I used to play with them uh, tightened up all the way, you know, up, up to, to the very top there. Um, that was some years ago. And one time before a gig, when I, I very rarely warm up before a gig, but for some reason <laughs> that night, I was warming up and I had a, a bass drum practice pad, so I was kind of playing my pedals and uh, one of these heavy duty springs broke on me uh, right before the show, you know, as I was practicing it or um, warming up. So I realized very extreme settings are not necessarily beneficial to a mechanical device like a drum pedal or parts of it like the spring. and. Uh, I kind of always felt with drum pedals that a medium setting allows uh, the pedal to to last more, you know, it, it brings a, more life out of the pedal. So I began to kind of slowly take the tension down or off the spring. Right now, like I said, I'm playing medium tension and, uh, you know, my, my feet are faster than ever now. And uh, I always play with this tension, I never crank them up more than this, okay. Uh, now, some other features of my pedals. I have the Markston beaters installed on them, which do not come standard with the A long boards. Um, and I really love these beaters. These may replace my Iron Cobras from now on, pretty much. 
because I they're really similar in terms of weight and, and balance and length. And I can show you another close-up here of their setting. They're extended out all the way, okay? So there's no beater here coming out of here. It's all on this side, okay? So as long as possible for maximum power and leverage and swing. But as you can see, the angle is really big. It's, they're set really far away from, from the uh, drum head. Uh, that's again for maximum power and, and swing too. What else? Uh, I also have the, uh, the E-kit installed on the pedals, which again are not the standard feature for Axis A longboards. So that's a custom order for myself. Uh, and I think another upgrade from, from my old pedals at least, if you, if you look closely and compare these two, the new one with the old one, you'll see that the heel mounting system, the heel assembly, is somewhat different okay it looks a bit different now some people have been complaining about having after a while of playing uh, having a bit of play here um, so the heel moving a little bit I never felt that on my pedals so it's never been an issue for me but it seems it has been for some other people so Axis uh, responded to that and this is their answer they, they made a new heel block thing or however it's called and um, that makes them even stronger. Dead silent, extremely lightweight, um, extremely heavy duty spring, so uh, perfect package as far as I'm concerned. Really strong velcros on the bottom, and pretty much my my perfect extreme metal pedal. And, and I got to say I'm really honored and excited to be um, an official artist, you know, an official endorser for for this legendary brand, you know. Uh, so, access the way to go.